Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 20th, 2019. So yesterday we had a little bearishness come into the market. I had mentioned the possibility of that pop and drop, and we ended up getting it yesterday. Not that that was a prediction, it's just always that protection that we need to take when we look at a market like this we want to make sure that we're paying attention when we gap up to new highs to just be a little bit careful to wait for proof and yesterday right after the gap up open here here's a short-term 15-minute chart nothing but selling coming in after that point so hopefully no one was hurt on that and everyone was expecting a possible rest or pullback in the market now I know we look at these kind of uh, events and we see a lot of bearishness when that occurs and we start to panic and things like that. But I want, I want to point out that I think this pullback is actually bullish as long as we continue to hold trend in here. And the reason I say bullish is when we've moved up too far too fast, it, it eventually needs rest. Even a bull needs to rest from time to time. And so a little bit of pullback, a little bit of rest, maybe just what the doctor ordered. As a matter of fact, it may actually prove to be very, very bullish just to get this little resting pullback that will bring more bullish uh, buyers into the market. So this morning we're looking at a modest gap down here this morning. Um, look, tensions over trade and um, the president threatened more tariffs if we don't get a phase one trade deal. China keeps kicking it around and wanting more and more, um, attempting to, you know, save face basically, trying to get uh, one up on the U.S. in the trade deal, and um, kind of a dangerous game being played, but it's just being batted back and forth. So right now, just a little tiny bit of bearishness this morning, and and we saw bearishness overnight in Asia, um, all all of their major indexes uh, selling off slightly. We have um, European markets also lower this morning as a result of those tensions in tariffs. But this pullback right now, as long as we start holding on to support levels and things like that in the chart, I think we're in pretty good shape. So don't panic about it yet. I wouldn't chase the morning open. Just, just the same way you don't want to chase a morning gap up open, we don't want to chase a morning gap down open. We want to wait for proof that buyers or sellers were actually will actually follow through on those gaps. Right now, I don't think there's a whole lot to worry about just yet. That could certainly change if we start breaking down these trends. But right now, we're in pretty good shape, and this may be exactly what we need to bring in a little bit more bullishness. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, SPY, getting a little tiny pullback, but it had enough energy in it rallying back up at the end of the day really very little concern here overall in the SPY holding up very very well we are pretty stretched if we take a look at some moving averages we're a long ways away from our 50-day moving average we're a little stretched so this rest this little pullback maybe just what the doctor ordered uh, to give us um, an opportunity to take a breath and that may actually inspire more bullish price action you see we've got a little tiny gap down this morning a um, little bit of bearishness first thing this morning but it's very very modest and so far not much here to worry about in my opinion on this chart we're holding up very very well let's take a look at the cues cues even a little bit stronger yesterday actually closing the day here on the queues new record high close on the queues so the bulls pushed right back up even though we had a little bearish price action in there the bulls pushed that right back up on the queues and you can see holding this trend perfectly a little gap down this morning probably not going to hurt anything at all in fact i honestly think this little rest if we could consolidate up here for a few days and relax just a little bit would actually be a very bullish and very productive thing for the market to do to just kind of take that breath 
um, in the market. And maybe this this trade tension thing may actually produce that for us. We'll wait and see. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has been resting. Now IWM continues to struggle here. And as you can see, we keep fighting this little downtrend right here, little wedge type pattern being formed. And this morning we're looking at another little gap down here this morning. Now I think IWM is gonna be okay, but it is going to be important that we hold this level of support. I think if we lose that level of support, we could easily slip all the way back down here, testing this um, trend back break. And that could bring a little bit of bearishness into IWM if that were to occur. So let's hope that holds on right in here, holds that support. We're able to pick up um, off of that level. We'll wanna watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at the VIX. Here's the thing that makes me think that this is just a little bit of a rest. Even though we had that selling yesterday, there really was not um, a major uh, change here in the VIX. We had a little bit of pickup, little tiny bit of fear coming into the market, but overall there's just not much fear here in the market that we're going to sink hard. So um, right now um, we'll want to keep an eye on this. Of course um, we have this little downtrend right here. If we spike up above that, that might be a little concern that might bring in a little more selling we'll want to watch this price level right across here if we break above there there could be a little concern um, in the market but i think overall the uh, the fear in this market is so low that um, any rally back up is likely going to be met with some buyers and be seen as an opportunity to pick up um, some stock on a pullback. So watch that close, but right now, no major fear coming into the market. Let's take a look at T2122. The T2122 indicator is one of those indicators that I just love because it's consistent. It's consistent in the way it works. Now, it doesn't tell us what the daily moves are going to be, but it does tell us when we've reached overbought or oversold conditions. And what we've been doing here lately is we've just been kind of banging around this mid-range. Gap down this morning is likely going to move this a little bit lower. Um, I don't know that we're going to sink all the way down in here into this reversal zone, but probably a little bit lower today um, on that initial open. But what I want to point out in here is T2122 is giving us that opportunity where we can see um, plenty of upside room in the chart. We still have some uh, plenty of downside room in the chart as well. So if the bears get a little bit cranky here today, we could push that down just a little bit more. But right now, really no clues here on T2122. It's showing kind of an equal weight um, right now of upside or downside move. We're gonna have to wait and take our cue on the price action. But I think the, the good news in this is that the resting that we're doing right now is actually opening up a bullish opportunity in the chart. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a little bit on it that may move the market around. We have the EIA Petroleum Status Report here at 1030. And as you know, every time those oil, uh, that oil number comes out, it can affect how those um, oil issues are priced. So we'll want to keep an eye on that pretty close. Um, unlikely that it's really going to be a major impactor on the market, but we'll want to pay attention to it, uh, particularly if you hold some oil sector stocks. Then we have the FOMC announcement that comes out at 2 p.m. I kind of have a feeling that this FOMC announcement will be a non-event um, overall, even though it's always one of those things that the market watches. We've already heard from um, the FOMC that we are now in a pause phase. They want to do a wait and see. You know, when we were waiting for possible clues of a rate cut, then those can be pretty impactful. But when we kind of already know that the FOMC is pausing, I think it's probably likely this is just 
a non-event for today. We'll wait and see, but um, that would be my first impression on that. Now, we also have more impeachment hearings today, obviously not on the economic calendar, but more impeachment hearings today. That could distract traders, you know, as they continue to, um, uh, you know, build out this political drama um, on Capitol Hill. So keep that in mind. Those could have a little bit of impact. We could see a little light choppy price action if um, traders' attention uh, happens to be turned toward those hearings. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you all the very, very best. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that thumb or the uh, bell icon when it pops up to make sure you're notified every time I post a video. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. They're, they're really that attempt to help Help us help me I know it, it's helped me for years to take this time in the morning that quiet reflection on the charts looking at the technicals of the charts and trying to avoid that emotional response and all the drama that happens in the morning when the when the market opens if you find that helpful if you could please do me a favor click that subscribe button and also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment you know guys you're more than welcome to leave comments and and suggestions about these videos uh, feel free to do that and if you have any additional ideas of things that you would like me to show or do please feel free to post that as well I'd appreciate it so with that everyone let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up now we had a little bit of change yesterday but I want to um, there are still some very, very good looking stocks out there. And maybe this pullback is actually just what we need to find an entry into some of these trades. So I want to remind everyone that every time I show a, a stock um, in this video, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Put it on a list, evaluate it, make sure this trade is something that would work for you. I cannot be, um, I am not advising you on buying any security whatsoever, okay? So let's take a look at some stocks that are just looking pretty darn good. Um, one of the stocks and, and a couple of members of, of the Right Way Options uh, folks uh, made some money on this um, yesterday. Take a look at Amgen. Now, I tend not to trade um I tend not to trade uh, biotechs. That's just a personal, personal choice of mine. But I have traded Amgen uh, several times before, and Amgen is holding this really nice trend. And you can see yesterday pop through this resistance with a really nice bullish candle. Now this could find a little resistance up here. We have this wick, big tall wick up here. Could find a little bit of resistance and we could pull back in here. But I think Amgen, for those of you who like those biotechs, um, Amgen might set up and it could follow through today to the upside. But with the little bit of bearishness that we're seeing in the market, may perhaps just get a little bit of a rest or a pullback. If we move back toward that trend and then watch for that opportunity for a uh, trade to pop up in there, take a look at Amgen. It might be something to put on your list. WBA is something I'm kind of keeping an eye on, even though we had some selling in here yesterday. If I pull this chart back, this is a very substantial level in this chart. And what I want to do is I want to watch this consolidation as we bang our head against this. And if I take a look at this current trend, I might want to draw this trend up this way, but I want to keep an eye on this move. And if I'm going to go ahead and use this one, we may need a little bit more rest, a little bit more consolidation in here. But as long as we continue to pop against this and hold up relatively strong in this area, I want to watch for that possible pop through. So WBA could be on your list. Walgreens, I don't know whether or not it's ready to go just yet. May take several weeks before it does go, but one that I would want to keep an eye on. Take a look at Hertz. 
Hertz was something that I mentioned yesterday. Ended up finding some sellers yesterday, but I still don't think that's really damaged this chart, particularly if we pick right back up. And if we were to pick back up in this chart and continue to consolidate right, right along through here, there's still that opportunity that we could pick up this trend and move on higher. So keep an eye on Hertz. One of the things that it's one of those markers for me in the market when rentals and leasing um, are strong. That means building is strong and construction um, is strong. We're all of this equipment is being um, rented out to uh, complete projects and things like that. That's usually a good marker for our economy and one that you might want to pay attention to. Take a look at TAL. Now, TAL gave a little try yesterday, tried to pop up, was looking really good earlier in the morning. But then that bearishness in the market kind of pulled it back. Ended up holding positive on the day, but didn't quite um, make that full break breakout in the chart. Now, if I pull this back, I want you to notice this resistance high up here in the chart. And TAL has a potential um, to be drawn up toward that level. So you can see we're right around 44 in this move um, where we are right now. And if there's an opportunity to pick up in here, particularly for an option trader, there may be more than enough move up here toward that 47. And I think it's likely going to be drawn up there. Overall trend in this chart is very, very strong. So possibly a little bit more rest or consolidation is, is necessary but keep an eye on that chart. You might want to keep an eye on these financial sector stocks. Goldman Sachs um, looking pretty decent here. You can see we've moved up. We're testing these resistance levels in the chart up in here. We're relaxing and consolidating over here, not really giving up much ground just in that consolidation. If they can find some ins inspiration and pop on out, there may be some good ones. And if you take a look, there's quite a few others that look really good, like Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley breaking through resistance levels, holding um, those levels as support and showing signs of bullishness. So keep an eye on some of these financial sector stocks. They're looking pretty good. Might want to put a few of those on your list uh, for potentials. Let's take a look at SLF. SLF, Sun Life Financial. We've got this nice little trend going up in here. And you can see um, that little consolidating move right against this level. And I'll pull this back. Gonna have to go to a weekly chart to show you this. Right there, there's a little bit of price resistance in the chart. So I've marked that on the chart. And that's exactly where we're finding that consolidation here in uh, Sun Life. So if this can start perking up in through here and pop on through, there may be an opportunity here in SLF. So keep that one on your list. It may be um, a trade that may provide some opportunities um, here in the near future. Take a look at Costco. Costco, Costco trying to hold up here. Now, we're, we've got quite an upside trend, very, very strong upside trend. And we're dealing with a price resistance here in this chart that's fairly significant, as you can see, pretty significant overall. Now you could, and I've got that longer term trend on here, it would be perfectly acceptable for you to look at this and say, well, I think that trend is just a little bit tighter and put that trend right through here. Now what that's going to do is place a, a, a space in here that we could continue to consolidate throughout here and then look for that opportunity to pop on through. So keep an eye on uh, Costco. As long as it holds above 300, I think we're in a pretty good shape on it. Those big round numbers tend to be good support and resistance levels to pay attention to in a chart. Last but not least, let's take a look at a chart NT NTNX, kind of an interesting chart here, technology sector. 
we've got an interesting pattern here where we've built this bottom kind of this inverted head and shoulders pattern in here we broke through this um, resistance level right here that neckline and we tried to hold it but then that little bit of shakiness in the market has caused that to pull back now i don't know if this is going to hold or fail in here but we pulled back and jumped right back through into um, into that level and as you can see we're trying to hold that level right now so i think any bullishness that shows up in here may be an opportunity to move this up toward those next resistance levels filling that gap and then after that there could be uh, plenty of upside opportunity so keep an eye on ntnx so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to wish you great profits there may be a little bit of shakiness in the market today with the futures pointing to a little bit lower open, but I think some of that has been um, offset by target earnings today, which have been good. Target reported today um, and is gapping substantially higher. Um, Lowe's have all, has already reported this morning and it is gapping lower. Even though it missed on its sales, it guided forward so lows popping up this morning so we've got a little bit of that going on trying to help us out but don't get too worried about a little bit of a pullback as a matter of fact get excited about pullbacks because those provide opportunities for low risk entries with that everyone have an awesome awesome day i wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early thursday morning have a good one